Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we will be playing Roblox Stores and instead of playing it, I will give you a guide on how to get your first win on Roblox Stores. As you see, I'm clearly a good player. I have almost every badge except 100 and many um, back on track and A1000. Which are pretty hard, but I was saying I am good because I have, I beat the game eight times, eight times, and I wanted to teach you guys how to just be good at doors. For some of those new players looking for a tutorial, even, and then look at the description in the doors, which clearly states that it does not recommend you should get a tutorial, and you should just go in, like, completely no idea what you're supposed to do. Is it for some one of those people who don't care at all? So first of all, this is the free running shop. The, the top, so you see right here, you have mobs. You can also see in the top right corner, right here, you have mobs. These are mobs. You get them from collecting coins. You get them from dying. And yeah, you just get them from dying. For special things. Yeah, so like clearly you have 30 seconds in the elevator, but if you're still in the premium run shop, you have forever. But if you don't want to do anything, just click in for and start your journey. So this is the first room. It's a safe room. Well, it should be safe. Open up drawers and like, find money on table. This rift, well, this rift is for door 100. Only if you got into door 100. And so you can see, see that, that's gold. You can see your gold right up here. This is also your knobs. If you wanna, if you want to, um, and also yeah, see the crouch. And over there, go that, but yeah. If you, act, if you wanna go into the chat, you can click tab, enables cursor. Actually, yeah, you can go to tab. Enable cursor, and then you can just do that, do that. The hotbar keys for these is for escape to get to the to the main menu, for or like the menu for the game, and click your slash if you have sorry if you have for um. Like, yeah, whatever. For so you click slash, forward slash, that enables that. And just click enter to like cancel it. That. So yeah, go over to collect the key, and then you go here to the store. You open it. Congratulations, you know, open the door. Macy's closet. You might get scared and hop in it. Don't stay in it for too long. There's this entity called hide, which stops you from hiding in it. Selfies here, if you're getting hide, well, you see this? And he tells you to get out. It'll eventually kick you out, but, and like, go in and out. That's why you have to, has to wait for hide to calm down. So, uh, yeah, just go on do your business, like, collect, collect coins when you see them, collect items, and when, and so we, and when we find the items, I'll show you, oh, no. so yeah, this is like a gate room, so you gotta, like, and also not every room needs a key, if you see this room, like, at, you don't need a key for that, like. But if you see like a lock on a door, that's like a key door. And these doors just like other doors that go to other places. So you can go. So this is like the a basement area. You can go down it. You got to open up that gate. So you can find like many places. You can just go in this little vent. 
You're venting. Sussy imposter. I hope this gets lots of views. I don't think I'll be able to put this in Ohio moments. I'll have to put this in tutorials. Do I even have a tutorials playlist? I'm probably like the channel with like the most playlists because like, you should probably look at my playlists. I have so many. It's just like I need a playlist for every single topic I do on this channel. I mean, it's sorted. So, is it really bad? I honestly don't know. So yeah, these are chests. <gasps> so yeah, these are chests. You can find them in these rooms. You know, looky what I found. This is a flashlight. This is the best. This is the last and best one of one of the best light sources in the game. Well, technically it is, but actually every light source has its purpose. But this is the best light source for, for if you want to see. You can find these like almost anywhere. Also, this is one of the items you can get in the free run shop. And, you, and as you see, you can also find them in the chest, which these chests also can be locked. And you need a certain item called a lock pick to get them. What do we get? Usually just to get gold, rarely a lock pick, but that's awesome. We got a, a um, flashlight. So yeah, you got to make it to door 100. So far we've actually gotten no entities. Surprise. This is the dark room. This is what your flashlight can be used for. To see. So another one of those like doors. This is also a good area. This is locked it. It helps you like lock. You can use it on like doors if you don't feel like finding the key for the door. You have to find the key for this door. Actually, I might wait in this room. Because there's actually like an entity. We're not gonna get it. Well, I get him every single time in dark rooms. Oh, oh, we got something. That's rush. We gotta hide in the closet before he gets here, and he's pretty fast. So react fast, but don't go instantly because. Well, hide purposes. These are batteries. That was a battery. It's used to power flashlights. And that's their only use. But who knows, maybe in a future update, the batteries will be used for something else. I mean, I would like to see another use for batteries. I wonder what else you could use for batteries. Maybe it's like power like electronic devices. Like maybe like the tablet. There's, a, there's actually a secret tablet really hard to get it's actually it's the hardest item to get and or maybe in the future those will actually yeah, be more useful and you can find them in, in more ways and they can be rare like the crucifix like it's a cross crucifix is a cross maybe you could use maybe it, maybe it could be a rare like that or the skeleton key i don't know i'd like to see more uses for batteries I bet most of the new players are like, what is this guy talking about? Don't worry. And also this thing, this is guiding light. He's blue and he likes to guide you. He's the only entity that's actually helpful. Well, that's a lie. That, that, that's, that's a lie. I mean, technically there's two entities that help you, but, there, but there's only four entities that are useful. Oh. That was dupe. Sometimes this thing comes off, like thing comes off, but that's dupe. He likes to discuss. Can I? These are vitamins, but we got unlucky with this, it, the vitamin spawn, so we can't get them. But what they do is they make you go faster. They make you go speed.
also one of the most heated MCs. Nice. He despawned. This is another dupe, so you have to pay attention to the right door number. The reason why, well, let me just explore this room a little. Go back to the door right number. Oh no, you can't see the door number. But it's 20. If I go, I'm, I'm not going to 19. That's when we you guys. And... Uh, nice, got vitamins. So yeah, that was actually really rare. Because that's Timothy, he likes to hide in drawers. Like, has one of the best jump scares in the game. He's, he's like one of the only entities that's unpredictable. Technically, every entity is unpredictable, but you'll never know that you'll get him. Like, yeah. I mean, there is a way to predict him, but, I mean, can you really know? Dark room. Eh. Twenty-five. Oh, nice. Destroyed room. There's a there's this entity you call it Halt, which after a bunch of light flickering, he will spawn like a lots of light flickering. I mean, I hopefully we get him because I know a trick to get past him if you're if you will eventually be bad at him. Double dark room. Dang it. I'm just trying to show people where to go. Ooh, so this is a puzzle room. I, I, I think we, this is like kind of obvious. Search the drawers for gold. I have 750 gold, that's pretty good. Oh, that's not rush, that's actually seek. And I'm not surprised if you already know what Seek is. Who Seek is. Um, so people actually think he's the, the main character of the game, but actually he's not. It's actually Figure. But yeah, I'm seeing guys like Figure, like. Corridor, the way to know if you're gonna get a sea corridor is after a bunch of sea guys, you get to like a corridor, this specific corridor. I mean, like the windows on both sides in the long one, it doesn't have to be like orange carpet, and it can't have it, the sea guys because it, I, that's gonna make you think that you're not getting sea. No, you are getting. bunch of um, dupe um, rooms and once I see a dupe room I will instantly look back at the door number but you can another trick is you can go kind of close to a door and, and see if it growls you, some dupes are louder than others but this is a quiet dupe but that's I can yeah that's a dupe
So, I mean, he's not really that. He does he's not a one shot unlike ambush, seek and uh, rush. And that's eyes. He's not a one shot, but you don't want to look at him. He always despawns once you um, go to the next room. Just gonna do that, just get loot. Now I like to loot in this run, and I suggest you loot. I mean, so because then you can get good items. What's the door number? And you also look on the key what door number it is. It's 42, just because I can know, tell if this is a dupe room. It's not a dupe room. But this is one of the rooms you can be in. Do I keep collecting? I mean, cash or whatever. Dark room. Yeah, I shouldn't need my flashlight. I mean, I'm actually I'm gonna use my flashlight just so you guys can see. So, like, just saying, if you got, like, a secret, if you think you got a secret hallway, like, it, and it looks like this, this is not a secret hallway. The windows have to be on both sides. That's rush. Screech, you gotta look at him. And then he'll go away. And he kinda gives you a spook when he randomly appears in light rooms. He's only supposed to appear in dark rooms, but he can appear in light rooms only if it, the dark room was over. Because he actually appears before he pssst. Yeah, he makes that like same pssst when he spawns. This is figure, he's blind. And I'll show you why. He's blind. But he has really good hearing. So you gotta crouch. But don't worry, you can open up as much drawers and you, like, like, well, you can't be a, you have to, like, not be a person. But like, if I do this, Bro, like, he's not gonna come. And also, when he growls, he turns around. And just saying, his average pattern, I'll show you. So, the pattern, so you, so just, after the time you get, like, you'll play doors, you'll find out his pattern, his pattern's like that, uh, around, just like, you, you'll find out. I don't, I, I, I don't want to explain the door for me. It would be cool if that you had voice chat on it. Um, it, figure could hear you. And you need to be quiet. Like, like actually, with your sound. So you couldn't just be like, going like, ah, ah, ah. You going like that.
Pastel Gablino, Ryan Talk to Bob, and Ambush again. I'm gonna use my crucifix on him. I do not like ambush. D7. I'm probably gonna beat this. I hope we get to um. I can perform the trick. In some lucky cases, you can actually make it so you, you don't get any damage. And this is actually a way to avoid yourself. Boy is an entity. You can't crucifix him. But, um. You can't crucifix him, but he appears when you're like slacking behind in, in multiplayer. But you also. But the thing is. Whenever a door closes, that room is a void room. And it'll void anyone in the room. And if you get a halt room, as soon as you enter the halt hallway, the, the, the room before the halt hallway is considered a void room. So you can actually go into the door, back up, and then you'll be in the void hall, be in the void room and then you can just easily like just get voided back into the hall hallway but for some reason in single player it glitches hall and like deletes him in the entire game well not the entire game forever but you delete him from, you delete him from his halt way er, his halt way that's actually a good name halt way it's in halt hallway this room is kind of like annoying sometimes. So just for the lack, like I mean, especially since there is no light. And also Rush cannot come in light in the dark rooms in this greenhouse. <laughs> You'll find what this is. Lights can actually flicker in this room, but you can only hear the lights flicker. You're gonna have to go down here and then look for and then hide and then look for the switch. This is actually a bigger basement than before, so I hope you um got enough trouble with the small basement because this is a big basement. We got lucky with that one. It can sometimes take you minutes and don't really want to spend time on this because you kind of want to see and you wouldn't be in light so god three door um room 62 is always a dark room well, not always, but most of the time it is. God. 65. It might be infirmary, but I mean, better than a dark room. Infirmary is like kind of like, well, not a safe zone. Um, it looks like we got some guys in the infirmary. This is the infirmary. This is where you can use one of the uses. Now there's the two uses. You can use your smoking key for. You get lots of gold in here, which can be turned to knobs. So if you get far and you have enough gold to purchase the skeleton key, or you find a skeleton key in like a chest or on a table, um, I suggest using it on this just to get some knobs. Door 
70 or about 80 CJs on the story. Yep. Okay, do you have to actually like flick your lights like that when I'm trying to do a tutorial to like guide new players? Do you have to? Well, hit let's go. Now that is Rush. Rush comes faster every, um, for every door you go through, the faster the rush gets. He, well, he doesn't get to that fast. if you might Just like watching good YouTubers like Thick Noodles and like maybe Creek Craft because they're actually good at the game. Like good at doors, like gotten lots of good achievements. I mean, well, Thick Noodles mainly, but there's a bunch of others. After playing doors, you'll probably like play, watch lots of doors videos and then you'll get like good doors pros. You'll find them on your own. And you can just watch them, and then you'll just know what to do. I mean, you, and even if you're not trying to do a tutorial. But also, yeah, 
Doors physics. If you thought Minecraft physics were bad, Doors physics. I'm literally like my friend was saying. Like I, I was some these guy go in these bushes, like in these bushes, and my friend was like, "Well, you can technically go through bushes in real life." So I tried to find another thing. I was like, "Bro, what if you could go through with a lamppost?" Surely enough, you can. Surprisingly, you can't go through trees. But you can go through their leaves. So yeah, that's how it's not. <sighs> Let's do this. So yeah, just, just go next to a closet. And like, maybe, yeah. You also get eyes. You get eyes. Like, you get eyes. Do we have a candle? I'd say just bring in lockpicks and like lockpick this door. And then you get like a free thing. <laughs> Elevator power and just open that up. Alright, let's go break our switches. As soon as you pull this lever, door 100 begins. <laughs>
I'm gonna put in the code breaker switches. Code, so this is code breaker. It's simple enough. I mean, you only get an achievement for doing it fast, but you can take as much time as you want. I'm not really good at code breaker, but somehow I did in under a minute. So yeah, let's do this. So you see the number in the box? With the lit, if it, a number has a lit on box, um, that means you have to flick it on. They get faster. That's your tutorial. I mean, I might not have the best tutorial. Um, and if it's bad, blame me. It's my fault. I'm not really good at making tutorials. But yeah, that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe, like, and turn on notifications. Like, well, that's all your opinion. But you can do it. Well, you can do that if you want to. And yeah, that's it, guys. Goodbye. And also, you see these like Room Survive 100, or Escape One. So yeah, like that's. That's knobs for you. Knobs. Nice. Bye, guys. Goodbye.